Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint and welcome back to episode 23 of my Dungeon of the Endless Let's Play. Uh, this is a, a regular old escape pod run on too easy difficulty. I know you've done so many regular escape pod runs and on too easy difficulty recently. Why are you doing it again? Well, this time I'm determined, and I mean determined, to get the library pod unlocked. I really want to get that tested out and see how it's... What it's all about. Uh, okay. Let's get some industry up and going right away. Maybe see what's going on down here. I could level up Pick and Shot right now, which might not be a terrible idea. Okay, some enemies, but they should be dispatched pretty quickly. And we will get our food up and going, followed by science after that, but I think I should explore up in this direction first. Ugh. Oh, we got some dust. Can't really complain about that. Another major module slot room with more dust. Okay, yeah. I can dig that. And please don't let those crystals just make their way into... Yeah, there we go. We'll get a science crater up and going. And we'll go over here. I don't think I need to build a tactical HUD yet. Self-powered room. Okay. I hope I find a... Endless artifacts soon, so that way I can get. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, as mm, optimal research done as possible. Probably want to get the land module just to get that out of the way as well. Uh, maybe explore over here because I don't know if I'm going to be encountering enemies. I'd like to go after uh, active endless artifacts yet. Dust factory. We'll come back to you. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. For the time being, though... Actually, you know what? Let's crack it open. Ah, oh, yeah. 25 dust. That felt pretty good. We'll go up here, see what we have. Okay. And, you know what? I should probably place down another science creator if I am going to be getting all the research done that I would like to get done. Did I explain in the previous episode my process was gonna what my process was gonna be as far as um, researching went? If I didn't, I'll explain it again. Basically, go for level ones first, and then say, eh, "Suppress a firebot." It is cheap, although I would like to get science creator three. I'll go for or suppress the firebot one first, and then I'll go for the blaster or whatever else the level one shows up next. And what do we have over here? Our exit. Okay, good to know where it is earlier on. Really hope I have some more doors though. That would be ideal. Uh, go down here, crack open that door, I guess. Okay, okay. We have Hydras already. Not super keen on that, but could be worse. Oh. Thought I got the Hydra there, but not quite. Uh, okay, so... Troy, you can sit in there. We'll explore over here next. Armed and ready, boys. Ten Dust feels pretty good. Should maybe have everyone retreat into here, maybe? Uh, but, well, I have repair. If anything gets damaged. Okay, take care of the crystal. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess I'll keep exploring down here. Then. Oh, I finished some research, didn't I? Yeah, I just finished Suppressive Firebot. Good to remember that, so that way I don't waste uh, science research opportunities. And we have Kip Cannon 1. Yeah, we'll go for Kip Cannon 1. Make our way down here. Again, open up, say, that door next. Really hope we run into another party member here. That would be uh, pretty good, especially one that is story related. Or has a connecting story to uh, other characters that I have in the party right now. Say, Gork to finish up uh, Sarah Numazes and Gorks. Who knows, it might also involve Troy as well, I'm not sure. We'll light up that room and uh, 
keep exploring over here. That's going to be another dead end, but with an item in it. What is it? It is a thing. Well, may as well put that on someone, right? Gives us slightly better DPS and speed. Uh, okay. Now, yeah, we'll go like that, that, and go over here, open that up. Ooh, can I research? Almost. But not quite. That's also going to be a dead end. Okay, that is the movement speed bonus Stella. I can get down a jiggy with that. Uh, we should probably get some prisoner prods in here in case I need to defend over there. But for the time being, though, let's uh, get some more... Oh my god, she's so fast. Uh, get some more research done. Definitely should get tier S1 sooner rather than later. And we'll open up this door next. Almost the last door, I would assume. Ooh, okay, yeah, there's some enemies. A lot of enemies, actually. A lot more than I thought there would be. Maybe I should actually do a little something like this, like 1, 2, 3, 4. Kind of a waste because that's not even towards the exit, but still. Probably better that I do it like this. So that way I don't have... Everyone that I hold dear and near to me die. Just keeping an eye on her health, but it's fine. Okay. Light up. Oh, light up that room. Okay, my mistake. Pick and shot can go in there. You can go in there. Sarah Numaz, you can make your way over there. And we will crack open uh, this door next. Last door of the dungeon. With a merchant, okay, okay. What do you trade in? You trade in science. Well, you don't really have much of anything that I would want. At all. So I'm not going to worry about you at all. Okay, so that's that. We'll light up that. And uh, we'll make our way to the exit now, I guess. I'll quickly see what I can maybe research for the next floor. Okay, Mechanical Pals, the Blaster, Bioorganic Transference. I'll probably go for Bioorganic Transference first, probably. We'll see. Oh man, voice crack there. Go like that and this. I may as well level people up right now as well. Okay. You should probably get another level up. You should probably get another level up, and that's... I could level Hickenshaw up again. Sure. You get Operate, okay. That actually is kind of... You, you have Neuro Stun Light already? That is actually super, super useful. Like, a, really useful. Basically, a walking Neuro Stun, but in hero form. That is super super useful and we still have the super speedy Stella effect on so making our way to the exit here should not be a problem in the slightest oh my god do you do you, do you see this it's like yeah I'm, I'm basically there already it's like one of those uh oh what are they called oh, I used to think poor monsters they have families now I want to kill the family too um oh you know, the, I'm sure someone will remember the name of this if I do the little tune. The, like, the whole, uh... It kind of reminds me of one of those skits when I'm moving that fast. We'll do another floor for sure. Maybe even two, we'll see. Depending on how fast this goes. Okay, only two doors. I can get down with that. Over here we have 10 dust, a single hydra, and a major module slot room. I definitely like the look of that a whole lot. Ooh, go. Oh, right, you can operate. I forgot about that. First come, first served up as hamburger. Another hydra, okay. Not as keen on that, but could be worse. We'll get food going over here. Yeah, I like the idea of that. 
I don't really need you operating on industry, I think. I, I think 11 per room is sufficient. And... Yeah, we'll continue exploring over here. And we have one of these guys. A little annoying, but not the end of the world. Get some science up and going. And... Until I find an endless artifact, I think I'll have Hickenshaw continue on food for operating. Just because I don't really need him on, uh... Oh, snap. Mizzy. Yeah, I don't think she has any stories related to anyone, but she's really strong. So yeah, I'll pick her up. She's only level 1 to start off with, though, which kind of really sucks, but that can change pretty quickly. Okay, so that is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Last time on my Infirmary Pod Run, I got her up to level 15, and she was a powerhouse, to say the very least. Uh, we should probably get some more science up and going as well. Maybe go down here. We have another dead end, maybe. Lady Jewelry Tulac. Um, I'm going to ignore you. Which is unfortunate, but it seems how I haven't used her for quite some time, but at the same time, I don't really need her right now. Anyways, oh, another dead end. With, okay, Herna, debu or Herna buffers and Hydras, not too bad. If I was smarter, I would have put someone in there, but luckily we didn't have enemy waves spawn anyways. Okay, and... So yeah, you go in there, you go over there, and you can go up here. See what we have. Another couple of branching paths. Endless Artifact, and the Merchant, two trades in science. Oh boy, you have... Uh, other t-shirt that is big to say the very least I'm gonna sell this piece here and things how I know I'm not gonna use it anytime soon other t-shirt um, I think I definitely picked this up but for who probably still Sarah Numaz I can always get another one for someone else later on and maybe I'll pick up the 224 uh, Mizzy Curtis. Sure, she'll be thrilled about that, but that's not really her decision. Why are your next uh, monsters? I just finished sharpening. Oh, the eggs are already really. Like, I can't really complain, but still, really. No, I may as well, like, place some defenses down along the way here. And endless artifacts, maybe. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, why did you come running up here? Oh, did I accidentally select you? I, I accidentally selected him. Well, that's my bad. Anything that attacks a merchant doesn't look like it. Luckily for me. I can't believe I accidentally selected, uh... What's his face? Uh, Hickenshaw. Because now we lost that operating bonus, unfortunately. But, we could have a worse scenario right now. And I can't believe we haven't found an endless artifact yet. That's a little bit mind-boggling. And is this really going to be one big circle here? Like, I wouldn't be surprised by the game, but at the same time, like... Okay, make our way down here. And have you two come into here. Probably want to try and level you up a couple of times real quick. Level 4 would be good. You get bad company, unfortunately, but that's not as uh, big of a factor for us right now. Okay, so you go in there, you go in here, and you continue exploring up here. Actually, if I was smarter, I would do that. Open up that. Yeah, that's definitely going to connect. And the fact, no, a toxic cloud. We have one wave incoming. Not too bad. You can fight in there. Okay. 
And, uh, let's see how strong she is by herself. Pretty strong. But then again, things are getting weakened off as well. Okay. And not really enough dust to do anything that I would like to do. Oh, well. Uh, make our way up here again. Maybe find an endless artifact in here. I don't think we have to worry about door crashers yet on floor 4. 11 dust, but an EMP on our food. That's not great. We don't have other enemy waves incoming, thankfully. I'll probably build some more defenses just because I can. And you know what, I'll, I'll probably pick up the 2-2 right now, since we still haven't encountered our uh, endless artifact for this floor, if there even is one. Um, who knows, there might not even be. Uh, yeah, definitely get some more armor there. And go up here, we have more rooms, maybe an endless artifact, uh, an item, not bad, but not great. Uh, what is it? It is Battlefield Injector, that's speed and wit. Speed and wit. Um, sure, you can have that. You might get a bit better of a bonus. Maybe, I don't know. And you can have a thing. Better for you in general, yeah. And, uh, go back down here. Oh, I can lay up another room, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll lay up that one. Go up here, open up this door next. We still have more rooms. Another six dust as well as, ooh, a couple of enemy waves incoming. Okay. None of which are, uh buffers by the looks of things but I don't know I could be wrong about that there we go that's that dealt with and she should deal with that pretty fast as well that shouldn't be too difficult either uh, two hydras yeah not too bad there we go enough dust to light up one more room I'm gonna light up that one because why not and you can go back into there, you can go back up there. Crack open that door next. We can operate again. We're at 13 food per room opened. Not bad. Not bad. I swear, if the endless artifact is way the heck up here. Oh, still no endless artifact. Okay. We have two waves incoming still. Not too bad. We're in a buffer. Not the worst thing in the world to deal with. In any stretch of the meme. And uh, those guys could be a bit of a problem if I wasn't as strong as I am. But thankfully I'm fairly strong. And... Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That's a couple more dust for another room light up. I'll do that one. Just to be safe over there. Oh, jeez. I would really, really like to find an endless artifact sooner rather than later. Go over here. We have the dead end. Is that our third hero on this floor that we found? So that's a little crazy. Not that I'm complaining, but it's a little crazy. Uh, I should probably place some fences in here and still not a dead end maybe an endless artifact uh, an EMP on our industry could be a lot worse but actually it's not great at the same time now that I think about it we'll just place two more of those in there and have uh, you over here ready to defend if necessary and uh, crack open this door Another two doors, really. Wasn't really expecting that much. And we have 
three more waves incoming on top of everything else. Luckily, we have a uh, Psycho Killer on uh, Troy here. Which I definitely think I will activate. Who is about to die? I'll probably, uh, yeah, what's his face in there? I have a lot of things coming over there, but not the end of the world. And she's doing pretty fine, I would say. And there we go. Got a little bit more dust. Feels pretty good. You can go back into there. I'll place another two, eh, three down there. You can go over here. And it would be great if I could find even one endless artifact so that way I could. There we go. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So that way I can get some research done on this floor before leaving. Uh, yeah, it's a blaster. Uh, yeah. Over here we have second to last door of the floor. We have uh, four waves incoming. Nothing too dangerous though because none of it's down here. And pick up this food. I'm not even looking over here because I know she can handle herself quite well. Lady Jewelry too like seems to be on the verge of dying quite often. And she actually did die there, I think. Surprisingly enough. Might have to use her battle madness. Now oh, what the heck, I'll use it. There we go. Got enough dust to light up another room again. So I'll definitely light up our exit now. This was actually more or less one giant circle. Last door opened. And we finished research on the Ace of Blaster. What can we research next floor? We can... We can't do any level 1s, but I think I would like to get Neurostun 2 done, if possible. Other than that, though, we're more or less set up for the uh, exit, I think. Yeah. Everyone else will make their way over into here. I should do some level ups before I forget. Level 5... Uh, sure. Okay, feels pretty good. Pick that up and make our way to the exit. Shouldn't be too bad. And I think I might actually make this number five a group for people who aren't going to be carrying the crystal on a very regular basis. And that should do it for this floor. I don't think there's any interactions between this character and anyone. Oh! Oh, there actually is. I shall have victory or death. Would you calm down already? Are you talking to me? No, sorry. There is... There is this idiot. I am no idiot. I am the Lord of Demon Warriors. It must be nice getting lessons from a veteran. Secrets unlocked in biographies. Interesting, I didn't think that there was any interaction between Hickenshaw and anyone else, but it looks as if there will be a story between Hickenshaw and uh, Mizzy. I'm interested to see how that folds up, but for the time being, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot, and it shows that you want to continue watching this series. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you can always click the link in the description to subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload any new content whether it's of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I will see you next time in my Dungeon of the Endless Let's Play.